Hello, today me and my dad will be doing the battle report from issue 9 of Imperium magazine. So, issue 9 battle report. Yep, so we've got a playthrough this this time, which is Duel in the Depths. Duel in the Depths. Yep, so we've come to the crux. The Overlord has decided to try and win the battle once and for all. And he's facing off against the Primaris Captain. Basically, this is the two big guys, the Primaris Captain and the, and the Necron Overlord, up against each other, winner takes all. Obviously, it's quite an even match. Obviously, I would say the... Um, Lieutenant's better than the um, what's his name? Royal Warden. Yeah, and then but the Overlord's better than the Captain, so I would say I would go for Necrons. Yeah, but well, the Royal Warden is good at shooting, which neither of the Primaris are, so he's giving a bit of a different dimension to the Necrons. So we've got a new rule for this time. So the new rule is that each weapon has a damage characteristic. Um, the damage is the number of wounds that will be caused by the weapon if there's a successful hit. So, uh, for instance, the Royal Warden's Relic bl uh, Blaster um, causes D2, damage 2. That means that if it hits, it's causing 2 wounds on the, uh, on the model it hits. So, neck on turn 1. My um, plan is to move the Overlord into combat with the um, Lieutenant and then with the other Necrom probably get some straight shots on the captain probably you're gonna be out of range for charging yeah, this so turn. It was six, it's six. yeah but you can advance so you can roll the dice to see how much extra yeah, far you can go advance. if i get six so does that mean i'm going to come back uh no no you can't you can't do both so you can just advance so Oh, you, oh my word. So you've got a six, so you've advanced forward an oh extra six. You still word. wouldn't be in range though, because it's quite a long way to go, so you can move an extra six now. No, but look. So you take having two shots because you're within rapid fire range. Definitely. Yeah, with it, definitely. So you're going to be hitting on a three plus. Seems easy enough. One over. So you've got one hit. So you're going to be wounding on a three plus. You need to roll one dice to see whether you're going to wound. But I get a chance to save. Oh, so so that's wounded. So I get, but I get an invulnerable four plus save, which I failed. So that's a wound on the captain. Oh no! Tell why? It's got a damage of two, so two wounds on the captain. Yes. So my turn. So I'm going to move. Space Marine, turn one. Yeah, Space Marine, turn one. Moving phase moving phase so i'm going to move both the um captain and the lieutenant into charging range of the uh are you sure are you really sure yeah they're both going to charge and try and kill him in one go because i charged i get to attack first with, uh... Uh, with both of them so we'll start with the captain so he's got five attacks close combat um so i've I've got strength of five. Ah, okay, right. Uh, give me a second. Half on the <laughs> I'm just trying to add it all. So, Primaris close combat. The captain has charged in on the Overlord, as has the lieutenant. So they're going to attack first, followed by the Overlord. Um, the captain there? starts off. Hey, has got five attacks um, with a strength of uh, strength of four, but plus one for his power sword, so strength of five. The overlord, however, because of his void scythe, is doubling his strength characteristic. Um, so Make that's going to give that's going to give him a strength of ten. So I'm going to roll to hit. So I've got five dice hitting on a um, three plus because his weapon skill of two plus is modified by minus one for the void scythe. So, one. So I've hit with three, with four, sorry. So we've got four hits there. The power sword has got a strength which is half or less than the void scythe uh, in comparison. So that means I'm only going to be wounding on a six plus. 
Oh. So. Yeah, yeah, there. You're a bit numb. That's numb, so I've done nothing there. You're a numb now. So now the lieutenant's going to have a go. So I'm going to be hitting on the three plus. You're a numb. I've hit all four of those. That's so okay. again, he's going to be hitting on a six plus because of the void size modification on the uh, overlord's strength. That makes you a double numb. Okay, well, that's one. You're not a double nun. Okay, so that's one. Um, it's got an arm penetration of minus three, so the overlord is saving on a three plus. That's going to be modified to a six plus. So you need to roll to save on that with a six, six or more. Hey, 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 hey! I think it might be that. So that's two wounds onto the overlord. So now. The Overlord gets to attack back. He's he's taken two wounds out against his four wounds in total. Um, but he's now attacking, so he's going to be attacking with four attacks. So, two plus to hit. So you've hit with all of them. So you, you've got the strength of ten with the Void Scythe against my strength of um, five. So you're going to be wounded on a two plus. You've wounded with three, but I get a, a, a modified save of four plus. So I'm rolling to save my Primaris Captain. I've saved two of them. But the Void Scythe is doing three damage, so that's me up to five damage. You've got one health! <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> I think I've pretty much won because there's no way my dad can save all of them. Like, if he does, he's a legend. <laughs> so at the end of turn one, um, the Overlord moved forward uh, to move into combat. Uh, the Royal Warden uh, fired off shots, taking two wounds off of the Primaris Captain. Um, in close combat... The captain failed to score any wounds, but the lieutenant did manage to score a hit which caused two wounds on the overlord. However, in response, the overlord took another three wounds off yes, of the private captain. Yes, and my dad has to save all of them, which I think is impossible. Yeah, so that's leaving the captain with one wound left um, for, to, to prevent the Necron win. Necron, turn two. You have a choice. You could withdraw from the combat if you wanted to. But then could I shoot... Yeah, you could do. So I'm moving back there. Okay, that's fine. So, shooting. With him. So again, you're getting two two dice. So you're hitting on a three plus. So you've hit with both. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, so to wound, the, the Relic Gauze Blaster is doing... Uh, five against four, so it's going to be wounds on the three plus. You need to roll them again to wounds. So that's on the three plus. And that's with both of them. That makes ten. I do have a four plus save, but I've only got one wound left, so I need to save both of these. But four plus is still really hard, though. Yeah, we shall see. I failed both of them. And it's snake eyes. It's snake eyes. And it's another wound on the captain. And that's the captain dead. And Matthew wins. <laughs> I withdrew from combat with the overlord so I could fire loads of shots at the, um, at the captain and which knocked him out. So you enjoyed that, Matthew? Yes. You won, didn't you? Yeah, so that was a big battle with all the characters, My wasn't part it? Is always when I beat him. Yeah, well, this is this is probably the case. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, so I think that was quite a good move at the end, wasn't it? Whether we withdrew and uh, and oh. then. Because I think that's why I was like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> but then I was thinking, oh yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah, so I withdrawn... literally forgot about him. So withdrawn from the combat, allowed you to fire some shots at the captain, which killed him. Because so, yeah. I forgot he was there. Cause <laughs> I never used him really. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so that was good. That wasn't it. We enjoyed that. And what do we say to the viewers? What do we say to the viewers? Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.